Beautiful. I think it's Friday, huh? <laughs> Just imagine how uh, this daylight is actually coming out. <laughs> it is Friday morning. It's the weekend finally for a lot of people. A lot of people have been working hard. So I will say happy Friday. <laughs> In the making. Morning, how you doing? And it's just sort of just an amazing day already. Amazing, beautiful day. For some reason I took a day off yesterday which I didn't want to, but I wasn't, I would say I wasn't prepared. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, Biscuit, I like to be prepared when I come out and do this 26 milers. Just, you know, so like I said, I'm in a situation where I can get this thing done before I start my day. And <laughs> that's what I'm just sort of doing. I think it rained hard here yesterday too. Plus the rain kind of just made me just step a little back yesterday too so I was like I don't feel like running in the rain yesterday but I think today is marathon 106 <laughs> I am just I just decided to put it upon myself that okay I'm just gonna run it I've been running marathon since April what do I want to say since April the 18th of this year I have been Every time I run, I run a marathon. <laughs> That's what I just do. I just come out here and I just started running. And voila, it's 36 miles. That's what I've done all throughout the summer this year. And it's probably, it's not probably, it's one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my whole entire life. Very, very challenging to just get up and say, run a marathon. <laughs> After my 100 marathon for the year, Woo. starting it over again it was just was one of those what I call mental toughness discipline meditation you just name it everything is involved in this journey <laughs> you just name it everything is involved in this thing right here amazing amazing to me that's all I guess to say amazing so what am I thinking about this morning I like how the daylight is just sort of coming out and wow <laughs> and the daylight is coming out I just like that energy just seeing those things you know it kind of just it makes my day just just a beautiful day in general <laughs> That's what I call it. It's a beautiful, beautiful day in general. And I cannot complain. I cannot complain. Good morning. Good morning. Man, what's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> How are you How doing? You I can't complain about yourself. <laughs> morning, good. madam. What you are doing? <laughs> I walking. How far are you going? I went past Spring Bay. Uh, just 26 miles today. 26 miles. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you been doing. Hey, you know why I would say this? Compared to what you could do, 26 miles ain't nothing. Nah. If you could push out a baby, I can run 26 miles. Trust me. <laughs> I watched my ex-wife do that stuff. It blew me away. Right then, I knew I can run 100 miles. When I saw I dropped that baby uh -huh. with no epidural, and she squeezed that my hand. Strong. Yeah, and she squeezed, my, she squeezed my hand too. And I started yelling, and there was women trying to deliver the baby. Yeah. And I was yelling, ah! And they looked at me, I'm like, oh, you know what, well, I can run a hundred miles. <laughs> <laughs> I have a great day. I know, yeah. All right, see y'all later. Yes, that's just, it, you know, the communication here. <laughs> you know, that daylight is just actually out there. And that is true. If a woman can push out a baby, I can run the marathon every day. So by the time I'm done with this marathon today, it'll be time for me to get my day started. It's all about, um, and I will say this a lot, uh, 
my day start with push-ups. I, I actually do my push-ups until I can feel it in my body. Then I begin to get into the yoga pose. Every morning, I'm always saying this yoga is a mother biscuit because when you begin to do yoga and doing your calisthenics at the same time, after a little while, everything becomes meditation. Like your yoga just becomes meditation because you're actually paying attention to breathing into that body. Ooh, there's some players over there. Yeah, that's a bridge over there. <laughs> so you're actually paying attention and breathing into the body really, really heavy because you needed that wind to be able to do the push ups. So every time you do that push ups, and so pretty much. By the time I realize it, I'm at 100 push-ups. I've been saying I want to do 1,000 push-ups. That's just literally my goal. And I think the whole thing about it is the discipline part of it. Because that discipline requires the ability to actually be able to slow down and do those push-ups and stretch. So that being said, once I'm done with that, then when I get to 10 mile marker, I begin to do the same push-ups again and yoga <laughs> all the way to 26. So it's really funny because a lot of people when they see me in the park, they look at me, what's it doing? So I'm just doing push-ups and I'm just stretching because I, I literally think yoga and running goes hand in hand. And the reason why a lot of people think 26 miles is a big deal is because they're not doing enough calisthenics and they're not stretching enough. So I always hear this talks about jacking up your body. What's really jacking up your body is not taking that time. What's this on the floor? Let me see what I need to start running. <laughs> you know, the reason, well, the reason why a lot of people are talking about jacking up your body is what's actually jacking up the body is not doing those push-ups. And when you don't do your push-ups and stretch that body, because every time it's, you do your push-up very slowly on your yoga mat, I've actually got two set of push up type of push up that is. So what it does to you, it actually just in line your back. It is amazing how the spine is designed. Because once you begin to open up that spine, you really, really just feel it. So over the years, I've really, really, really practiced yoga. So I have a two and a half hour session every morning. So lately I've been getting up at 1.30 to start my day because like now I'm like a business person now so I got so much to do creativity and every you know it's still, it's just all that so I start at 1 30 boom do the push-ups by the time I look up it's three o'clock four o'clock time to meditate and read <laughs> and off I go then I have the critical writing you know because writing to yourself sometimes it aligns you with your emotions and I usually, I always encourage doing the opposite hand. If you're right hand, they right with your left hand. If you're left hand, they right with your right hand. So what I also do a lot is um, I write with both hands just to kind of just talk to myself. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I write to my whole body these days. Anything that I need understanding, I literally just write it down and I speak to my body. And it's really funny how the body can actually respond. It's really funny, your, your whole body, once you begin to write to it attentively, not hypocritically or not uh, nonchalant, shall I say, but once you begin to write to yourself attentively, putting in the same effort that you put into writing an exam or writing an essay, you'd be really amazed the things that your body will do to you. Speaking to your brain is extremely important because I always hear a lot about mental health meant to this but the thing is the stuff that is required to control this type of behaviors we do not want to talk about it we do not realize that we can actually reprogram our brain we can be honest with your thoughts and a lot of time the reason why it's so difficult for us to write our emotions down is because we are very comfortable with that emotion it gives us a sense, a sense of pity. I'm not saying that's all. That's how it is in all cases, but in most cases, that emotion gives us <laughs> a sense of pity, 
and we 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 accommodate it because it's such a unique sense so and we abbreviate ourselves to the ideology that in order for one to also have an intellect and be able to conversate or say anything enlightened or spiritual one has to have the material things so and i will say this money has nothing to do with consciousness or how much of a peace you have within you those are all two different entities because like literally our culture these days we literally think when we don't have money there's something wrong with us i hear that a lot and it really just amazes me how how do i say it i always get people who want to advise me all the time but i'm saying to myself what i see as wealth is not what you see as wealth my abundance is right within me and every time i hear all this oh you look something like you cannot be stressed if you are getting up every day to meditate stretch your body and go and exercise absolutely impossible because during that moment of stress when you begin to do this thing appropriately shall i say intellectually <laughs> diligently like one of my scholarly friends my uncle dave i missed that brother so much it's really funny how one day somebody can be here boom and they're gone uh, we used to talk so much about philosophy in our runs. We talk about it all. Oh, I need a lawyer too. Oh, my biscuit. So, <laughs> that being said, that being said. So, that's what it's all about. So, once you can do that attentively, you are able to control those emotions. It doesn't matter what it is. So, I think a lot of time, people are very quick to put their emotion on other people because... I live in abundance every day. I make sure my mind is at the right place. And I do that because of opportunity. Because when you are going through a certain things in your life and your mind is at an appropriate place, it creates an opportunity for you because that opportunity will always come. Because every one of us on this planet, our timing is so different. And once we begin to realize that our timing is different, and things happen to us accordingly when it's in the proper manner we will stop all these biscuit judgments <laughs> so and another thing also is to leave a spiritual lifestyle is extremely hard and i'm always going to say this i hear people talk about that thing so much we're extremely extremely good at talking about the things that we don't do it's funny, I always laughed a lot because I'm like, man, people talk about my lifestyle so much, like they live it. And it really, it really cracks me up. And he said, oh, look at that bird. What the biscuit is this? What's my light? Let me see. What's wrong with that bird? She's flying too. It's a red one. I got to look at it. And it started to make me even shy away from religious synagogues or community centers because I'm just like, I'm really getting to that stage right now where I'm like, okay. I've listened to people talk about spirituality and talk about my lifestyle enough to where I need to start speaking it. <laughs> you know, because the way I look at life, I get intellect, I get wisdom from everywhere I go. I live, I've been a teach, I've been a student right now. I know how to be a student where I can learn from anybody. But I've noticed that flipping it around it is just not the case, especially in our Judeo entity, I call it. So today I'm going to get in another easy 26 miles, which is not really nothing. It's like a walk in the park. Another beautiful day to actually come out. Look at the day is coming, actually coming out. The sun is actually going to rise in a little bit, <laughs> which is beautiful. So I just go, let me see who this is. Uh, yeah, the sun is actually going to rise a little bit. And then <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish this easy 26 mile meditative jog here. Woo Let me see. Oh, my light is still on, so I got to keep it up. So I just want to be done really early. It's really funny, man. Just to come out and do a quick 26 mile like it's nothing. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's all about the yoga, meditation. It's all in the mind. 
you know, anybody can do this. You know, there's no different. I'm not better than anyone. I just practice discipline. Let me see this. Thank you, thank you. I just practice discipline. So I'm going to say a happy Friday. Get out there if you've got to do something today. What else could I say? Be in nature. But get out there. Let's bring out that beautiful vibration up. And then I got, let me just finish this easy 26 miles. And I'm going to say happy Friday and one love.